Hi, my name is Jonas and today I'm going to try to give you a complete guide to the new version of the CS BIOS. We are going to go through the steps of downloading and installing the CS BIOS. We are going to take a look at the program board. We are going to download and install the Arduino IDE and we are going to install the TCS BIOS library into the Arduino IDE. We are going to write and compile our first sketch and upload it to our Arduino board. And for you not familiar with the DCS BIOS, it has been around for quite some while now. It lets the simulator communicate with the Arduino board and it gives us opportunities to build uh, our own flight panels with buttons, lights and even screens. All links mentioned in this video will be posted in the description. So, yeah, if I go to Google and I Google DCS BIOS, I get this result. And this is actually the old version that is not supported anymore and it's not updated and does not include all the newer modules in DCS. So I do not recommend using this one. Instead, I go back to Google and I Google for DCS BIOS fork. This first result takes me to GitHub and the DCS flight panels page. And if you, just like me, find GitHub a bit confusing, this is the way to download DCS BIOS. Click DCS BIOS, go to code, and choose download zip. Now you get the latest version of DCS BIOS for DCS Open Beta. Now here is my downloaded file. I will unzip it, in my case, to my desktop. Now I navigate to my saved games folder and my DCS Open Beta folder. Uh, be sure not to be in your DCS installation folder, but be in the saved games folder. Now, this is a fresh install of DCS, so I do not have a scripts folder here. You might very well have a scripts folder, and if that is the case, you open this downloaded file. You take this file in this, this folder in scripts that, calls, that is called DCS BIOS, and just drag and drop it into your scripts folder. Uh, in the scripts folder there might already be a folder a file called export.lua and if there is, do not overwrite it. Instead, open this, this, this export.lua. Uh, use no notepad, copy this file and paste it into the end of your export.lua file. I do not have this uh, folder, so I will take the whole scripts folder, drag and drop it into my saved games DCS open beta folder. And I will also need this folder called programs and drag and drop it into the same folder as well. Uh, note, this folder cannot be in the DCS BIOS folder. It needs to be under the scripts folder. So this is all I need to do to install DCS BIOS to the DCS. Now we can start writing our code, but before we do that we need the Arduino IDE. So just back to Google, Google Arduino, on the Arduino homepage, go to software and find your version. And today I'm just going to download it. Once the Arduino ID is downloaded, just install the program. And yes, I have sped things up a bit here. It will take some time for you to install this. Once done, I run the Arduino. Welcome to the Arduino IDE. And this is a very basic sketch that can be uploaded to your Arduino board. What we need to do now is to install the DCS BIOS library into the Arduino. 
So we go to sketch, include library, and add library. I navigate to the saved games folder, and I find the scripts folder that we just created. In the programs folder, you will find the DCS Arduino library and the zip file. So here I have it installed. Now you might have to restart the Arduino IDE. Once that is done, I can go to File, Examples, and here I find the DCS BIOS fork. I will use the IQ serial, and this is what you are going to use most of the time with the Arduino Uno boards. And a new sketch is created. This sketch contains everything you need right now. It includes the DCS BIOS and it defines the IQ serial. Here I place my code from DCS BIOS code library. But how do I find what code I need to use here? This is where the board programs comes in handy. Just a short while ago the creators of DCS BIOS abandoned their Chrome plugin in favor of the new program BORT. And I'm going to show you how to get BORT and to use it. Here is the BORT page on GitHub. And just like before, we go out to releases. And now we download the setup.exe. Now we have BORT here, and this program is not verified by Windows but it won't be a problem to run it anyway. So just go ahead and run it. And by default, this overlay will stay on top. So you can minimize it if you need to access anything else. Keep in mind that Bort will try to restart itself once we first started it. Here I can click in the show live data box and I can also show the Arduino scaffold code here. This might not be checked by default, but my recommendation is to check it as soon as you can. Today I'm going to program a master caution light for the A10C. So I just scroll up to the A10 and I find the UFC. And here I find the everything that can be programmed from the UFC to the Arduino board. But the master caution light is up here. It's an integer. It gives you a value of 1 or 100%. And here is the code I need to use. Simply click the copy. I go back to my Arduino. I paste my code here and I change the pin to the pin number that I'm using on my Arduino board. I also need to select my Arduino board and this is on the COM port 6. This is important to remember but shows my board. I verify that this code works and I get a confirmation that it does. Now I can upload it to my Arduino board. The code works. Now, back to DCS. So, here I am in my A10C. And the first thing I want to do is to confirm that DCS BIOS is now talking to DCS. And to do this, I'm just going to initiate the master caution light. I go back to the board reference tool. And now I see that the value is changing from 0 to 1 and from 100 to 0. Now all I need to do is go back to my save games folder, the DCS open beta, the scripts folder. Here I find the connect serial port. And as you might remember, our port was 6. So I just type in 6, press enter and press a button again. And this code here it tells me that the DCS is now talking to the Arduino board.
So here it is, yes, I see my master caution light and I also see it on my very very simple breadboard here with the yellow lead. Everything is working, perfect. So on a final note, here is a few things to remember in the DCS BIOS folder. There is a folder called doc and in this user guide.html you will find a pretty much complete guide to the DCS BIOS and how to connect your Arduino and how to program it. I also recommend visiting the DCS BIOS Discord server. Uh, here you can get a lot of answers to most of your questions. So good luck and please share your flight panels with me. Fly safe. Bye.